Welcome to another edition of Wild Ute University. I am, of course, Moen and the man behind Wild Ute University, Wild Ute. He's going to explain a little bit today about how private equity is going to work in the conference realignment picture. How are you doing this Absolutely. evening? Doing great. How are you doing, Moen? Doing fantastic. Let's get this up here and get this on the stage. Absolutely. Walk, so, hey. walk, me, walk me through this because I don't know a lot about fi- private equity. I'm sure a lot of other people don't. You work in this business. Walk us through it. Yeah, so private equity here. Uh, so private equity is going to probably take part in the financing of Florida State's exit from the Atlantic Coast Conference. Okay, that's why it's important here. And private equity can get kind of complicated. Um, and the whole purpose of this video is to show everybody visually how private equity can work and how Florida State can leverage private equity to pay out of the ACC, then also how to pay back private equity once they use funds for private equity, money from private equity. So let's jump into it. All right. All right, so here on this first page right here in the analysis that we're gonna talk about, let's talk about the players involved right now. And this isn't definitive at all, Moen, but uh, what's who, who's been talked about with Florida State are two parties, and that's JP Morgan, J.P. Morgan Chase, and also Sixth Street. And each one of those businesses is separate, and they have separate purposes too. So J.P. Morgan often is a, an organizer of, um, of different private equity deals. So what they'll do is they'll go out to the marketplace and they'll talk with different private equity firms and different investors to find the right one for a client. And in this case, Florida State is the client. And who, who J.P. Morgan has found as a potential prospect is a private equity firm named Sixth Street. So Sixth Street is known for providing private equity ventures for funding money, giving money to different pro sports franchises and, um, and helping them with different business transactions. So in essence here, Florida State reached out to J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan helped Florida State find a private equity firm, and that private equity firm looks to be Sixth Street if indeed this goes through. So if it's not Sixth Street in the future, it might be another private equity firm. So you replace Sixth Street with somebody else, but that's the gist of it. JP Morgan is basically a broker to help uh, Florida State find the best private equity firm to work with. So okay. let's move on. All right, here, let's talk about the flow of money. So say that Sixth Street actually does become the private equity firm for Florida State, like it seems like it could have the money that way. So how it would work is Sixth Street would fund, would make a loan, essentially, and they would give that money to Florida State. And Florida State, in turn, would use that money or a large portion of the money to pay the ACC for the buyout to get out of the conference. So in essence, Florida State doesn't have the money today They'd use Sixth Street's money to pay out of the ACC, the buyout money, the grant of rights money, whatever that dollar amount's going to be. If indeed it is a dollar amount, right? We don't know what's going to go on in the legal proceedings. But Florida State essentially would use that money to pay out of the ACC. It'd just be an extra swath of cash they could use um, to get out of the ACC here. So you can see the flow of money here. That's just kind of visually how it works. Sixth Street gives the money to Knowles, the Knowles then, you know, give the money to the ACC to get out of the conference. That's, okay. that's the initial flow. Okay. Now let's move on here. So the structure, okay, what's in it for Six Street? Why would they do this? And like what has Six Street done in the past with pro sports transactions? Well, Six Street's actually started a new business with the enterprise that they're lending money to. So in this case, Six Street and Florida State would form a new business together. And this business would actually be reporting up to Florida State's athletic department or Florida State University. Um, and it would be likely owned majority Florida State with Sixth Street owning a portion of that. So that's really the whole gist here. So Sixth Street gives the money up front to Florida State to buy out of the ACC. And then in turn, Sixth Street gets a ownership portion in a business enterprise that Florida State and Sixth Street will join together with. And in this case, I'm just throwing out ownership percentages. This doesn't mean that these are solid by any means. I'm just making a guesstimate. But uh, 
in this case, Florida State's athletic department would be 75% owner in a, a new firm, let's call it 63 Knoll. And then 63 would be a 25% owner in this enterprise too. So that's like the business structure that Six Street would want down the line. That's important to Six Street too, and that's what they get out of the deal. And this business enterprise, this Six Street Knoll enterprise, would roll up and it roll up to the Florida State Athletic Department or Florida State University, one of the two. So Florida State would have controlling interest of it. It would be a subsidiary. It would be like a drop-down business of the Florida State University, but it'd be a partnership and ownership through Six Street too. Yeah, let's move on now. And then here's the last piece of the puzzle here. So, all right, after that business entity is created and Florida State at this point has used the money up front that Sixth Street loaned it to pay out of the ACC, now what does Sixth Street get in return down the line? How are they going to get repaid? How are they going to make money on their investment of giving the funds to Florida State up front. Well, the Big Ten Conference, who's likely to gobble up Florida State if they get out of the ACC, is going to give annual media rights distributions to the Knowles that are significantly higher than the ACC. That's what's triggering a lot of the stuff is the money behind it. And that money is coming from Fox largely because of television contracts. So the Big Ten is making money through Fox through media rights and those media rights are going to each one of the Big Ten schools. And in this case, assuming that Florida State ends up in the Big Ten, that money would now not just directly flow to Florida State themselves, but the money, the media distributions would flow through to this new business entity that's created by Florida State and Sixth Street. I'm calling it like, you know, a, the Sixth Street null name. That's just mm -hmm. a just a name out there. But really all the Big Ten media rights money would be flowing to this new business. And Sixth Street would have access to, you know, in this case, about 25% of the media money coming through. And so Sixth Street would be getting paid through the media distributions of Florida State's getting down the line. And also Sixth Street could work out a deal within this business entity, this Sixth Street Null, where they could uh, be getting licensing rights or possibly stadium naming rights. There might be some other perks involved through the partnership. But this new business entity would be how Sixth Street gets paid back down the line. Essentially, it would be getting repaid like on a loan. Um, so that's how from A to Z, this would all work. There's a lot of assumptions in play here. First off, that there's going to be money um, for Florida State leaving the ACC, Florida State actually leaving the ACC, then also getting into the Big Ten and getting media rights distributions. But hey, when we're talking about this stuff and the logistics and how it could work, that's kind of like the big idea on how private equity could be involved and how the money would flow and how it would get paid back. All right. Well, I think that kind of sums it up. It's a really great explanation, you and I know I was confused on it before we started, and I'm a little less confused now. So I uh, appreciate you taking the time to put this together for our members. I'm sure they'll learn a lot from it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, guys. We will see you next time for the North Carolina. Uh, how does it fit into the Big Ten yep. Wild Ute University? So that's what's next up on the schedule. Uh, till then, peace out. Mm -hmm.